Hi hey everyone, New England Gardening here. Today's, uh, what is it, Thursday, May 5th, I think? And it's 1.30 in the afternoon. I think it's in the 60s. But a nice sunny day, um, as opposed to yesterday, which was cold, rainy, and drizzly. And um, I think the high was like in the 50, 53s or low 50s. But I'm looking out here, see anything unusual? I just happened to notice, I guess I missed it, well I wouldn't have had the camera ready anyways, but let's see if I'm focusing in on it, it's hard to see, I think that's it right there, immediately notice this area with a lot of feathers, so something got something. I have this um, bird bath here. And I did put out some seed yesterday, some sunflower seed. Uh, those morning doves like to visit. For the life of me, I don't know how those things uh, have survived uh, evolution. Because they don't seem to be the brightest of birds. Um, yeah, it looks like there's a hawk that flies through here. A couple of them. There's one that's like a bullet. And I think sparrows are just too small for the things. Uh, but waste of time considering the size, but who knows? I guess it's one of those bony doves. Yeah, so definitely. There's a major feathers, so that looks like those dove feathers, morning dove feathers. <sighs> All right, everyone. Uh, went and grabbed the camera after I looked at the feathers there. Uh, sort of an unplanned project or a mistake venturing out into the yard. What I've been meaning to do is I want to have access to the fence line here. And I put these two long raised beds here, which I have to go all the way around in order to get in. And then I feel confined in this space here with some uh, unmanaged grapevines. And those of you who like gardening um, will uh, relate to this. When you start digging stuff up, you want to save everything. So even when I took cuttings or trimmed the grapevines, I put them into containers. So I've got some containers here with grapevines and I put some in the raised bed so I, they're, they're just starting to butt out. So I felt real bad, so I parted them up. I've got a whole bunch of uh, honeysuckle here. I got a bag of honeysuckle here. That, um, you know, I can only plant so much. I want to make some trellises for hummingbirds. So I cleared this area with the the um, honeysuckle, once it fine hits the soil, it puts a root out at the node and you'll have more plants than you know what to do with. So I just cleaned, cleared this area out the other day. So what I want to do is take this raised bed and I'm going to place it somewhere about here. All right, so it does slope a little bit uh, away from us. So I had to dig down uh, on this side to get the level. So I've got it, got the bubble pretty much centered. And to make sure everything's square, get the other one on top of this and then um, I think I'm gonna scrounge around for some pressure treated two by fours maybe and put them in four corners and attach the two levels together oh, 
Okay, so the dimensions are just a little bit off. Um, I think, well, because that board maybe has bowed a little bit. But this isn't a woodworking project. It looks pretty good. That actually looks like it could be a height to discourage a rabbit. Well, <clears throat> I've got all this wood piled up here from when I took the lean-to down and been meaning to use it to build a shed where the lean-to was. And I've got all these pressure-treated boards already closely to the length of what I need. So, the price of wood these days. I think I'll go ahead and use these. All right, everyone, I'll show you the first one. Uh, I went to use my cordless drill, if that's what they even bother to uh, prefix it. Um, yeah, the battery's like two years old, I think, and it's already dead. It won't hold the charge. But I've got a drill that was my father's that's probably more than 50 years old, and it still works. It's a cast, I think they call, they call that like a cast metal. It's Black & Decker. All right, so I'm gonna put four, and uh, one in each corner, and one in, in the middle on both sides, so six total. I'll get back to you when it's finished. All right, so that went quicker than expected because I tried without drilling pilot holes, and that drill's got so much power, there was no problem. It could probably break my, my wrist. Uh, I just put a couple of screws a couple extra in the middle here. Uh, I realize that, as I think some people use posts that go in the ground um, to prevent maybe bowing um, out from the center, but I don't think that's gonna be a problem. Um, maybe during the winter when there's a frost, when, I mean, hard freeze, but uh, that's, that's pretty solid. It's not going anywhere. Well, where did I get the motivation to do this today? Now, another thing you can do if you take this hardware cloth, I think this is like half inch, and put it on the bottom so you have uh, voles or moles. Can't come in. But I don't think I have that problem. Um, I was in the yard once in broad daylight just in the, in the lawn and one <laughs> went over my foot. I couldn't believe it. But... Um, yeah, I don't think I have that problem. All right, people, the more I thought about it, uh, the more it made sense, just go ahead and put the hardware cloth in the bottom here, since it's empty, right? I can always get more hardware cloth, and I do have some left over. Got another piece over there. But yeah, have the line of defense here. Just cut it to cut the fit. You have to cut some tabs in here to accommodate for any boards you have. But yeah, I think that was a good decision. All right, everyone, so there's my blank canvas. I just uh, put that chicken wire up with some fence posts. For the peas, I need to get in the ground before June. Should have been in the ground a long time ago. So yeah, I kind of like this uh, double height here. You know, I was also thinking it's it might be less less pressure for weeds to be able to get up into here. I'm sure I'm still going to get weeds, but they're not going to have these. They're going to be a little bit more difficult to access to jump up in the wind. I'll put my mulch down 
and it's a good height. Um, yeah, looks pretty good. So let me get some plants in. All right, uh, for those of you with a south-facing window, no need for grow lights. The best light you have right there is sunlight. So there are some tomatoes that are really starting to feel the pressure now. So you got like three or four in a pot. But let me show you some of the ones that I um, planted so there was just a single plant. And so here's one. This is due to go in the ground. I'm looking at this. Um, I didn't label them. So I have some like the pear-shaped yellow tomato. Um, an orange cherry tomato and the Cherokee, is it called Cherokee purple? And I'm thinking, and I'm looking at the leaf pattern on these, it seems like the, the larger ones have a more beefier leaf. But yeah, it just helps the label. So here's a couple of plants too, nice marigolds. Maybe help keep the rabbits away. Uh, a couple of, I think they're borage plants. And then there's one marigold in that one. Yeah, so south facing window. No grow light. No electric electricity bill for these. Get these in. So overdue. It's getting too hot, even with some of the panels off oh, on the greenhouse. All right, I was able to get them untangled. And uh, I think I'm planting them kind of dense and get a number of plants per pot. But uh, yeah, they'll do okay. So I got the peas in, and this is the tomato that I have in the lean-to. I got a bunch of these, and this looks to me to be a little bit more substantial. Probably the the Cherokee, or the other two are sort of a cherry tomato. So let me get some tomatoes in. Dig a nice hole to accommodate the depth there. <clears throat> and it will grow roots. And it's a oh, probably want to pinch that off too. And I'll pinch some more later on so the leaves aren't so close to the soil. And I might as well put the cage on now. Instead of when it's too big to try to get to slip this on over the tomato plant. So this is my first tomato plant for the season. And uh, I know these lettuce don't look too good. Just gotta plant them a little bit deeper. I guess. All right, everyone. This is a good day's accomplishment. Got my first flower bed here. And uh, I did move the strawberries yet again. Hopefully I'll get an email about those strawberry towers coming in tomorrow. But I moved that raised bed. And that one, so it's not as claustrophobic. Uh, that was like a no man's land behind there, a lot of weeds I gotta get rid of. But yeah, I'll get some tomato plants in, get lettuces, which that look crowded, but those lettuces won't be staying in all summer. I've got marigolds, 
in the front here. Um, might have two varieties here because these two here or three are larger than the ones I had in the greenhouse. And I planted some, I think they were called toya, like edamame, or soybeans. So I've got the peas in the back. I've got four tomato plants in. And the lettuce, of course, I already mentioned. Uh, no peppers, I didn't plant any peppers. Um, anyone notice the prices of plants at Home Depot? Pretty expensive. Definitely pays to buy seed and start plants. Say, so yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see what these uh, soybeans do or what they need for support. Hopefully they'll just support each other and know, figure something out. But yeah, this is New England Gardening. Got some plants in, long overdue. All started from seed. This is New England Gardening. Thanks for watching.